want to know what happens after death. <laughs> See, if you want to know what happens after death, No, if you're not willing to die, you cannot live, you know. Those who don't want to die cannot live also, isn't it? Hmm? Enjoy life, no? You cannot. If you go on thinking, I don't want to die, you cannot live. If death comes, I'm willing to die, only then you can live, isn't it? You cannot deny one and have the other. Now, Death means now, she says, why death? Let's avoid it. Why talk about death? Because talking about it itself creates fear. They have told you, you should not even utter the word death in your house. No, generally they have told you, you should not even utter this word in your home, isn't it? Because if you never utter the word death, death is not going to visit your home. There is a stupid hope like that. <laughs> anyway, it is going to visit you, whether you like it or you don't like it. Today or tomorrow is the only question, isn't it? Anyway, it is going to visit you, so it's better to look at it. It's better to understand it, it's better to face it. It's very good if you're prepared for it, not just mentally, in every possible way. Now, uh, what death means is, <coughs> if you want to know what it is, first thing is you should know what is happening with you right now, isn't it? But right now the problem is you don't know what is happening with you right now. You may know what is happening with your body to some extent, you may know what's happening with your mind, but you do not know what is happening with you. When you say, this is my body, this is my mind, that means you're still beyond those two, isn't it? The very fact you say my mind and my body means there seems to be something beyond what you call as body and mind. That something is not yet in your experience. So now when you're here and asking the question when you don't know what is happening with you, how would you be capable of knowing something that happens after you have shed the body? Now if I tell you, see after death, like this, your uh, whatever, different names, Atman, Paramatman, whatever you are, that will go up three thousand feet and then it will move this way, then it will go to heaven, then it will go to hell, even if it is true, as far as you are concerned, it's just a fairy tale, isn't it? Yes? Even if what I am saying is truth, but as far as you are concerned, it's just a fairy tale. Fairy tales only entertain you, they'll never liberate you. They cannot liberate you. So, right now, what is you is alive and kicking. Now when it's alive and kicking, you must look deep into, deep into yourself and experience what this is about? The moment you experience what this is about, not just life, life, death and the beyond, everything is crystal clear to you. Because you don't know this, all those things have become, you know, inaccessible. If you know just this one thing, everything is clear to you. If you know who you are experientially, every aspect of life and beyond is crystal clear to you.